A Agu So Little Miss Is 11 Weeks today Wow My friend Holly let me borrow This baby Bajorn I know it's not Bajorn Bjorn. She's pretty happy in it Anyway so I'm still Trying to finish Thank you cards from like my baby shower Or random gifts that we've been getting Since she's been born so I'm kind of going through and making like a new list and I have a stack done. It's just, it's taken way longer. They always do, but like my baby shower was last week into February and it's the end of June. So whoops, but people will get them soon. I've also done a load of her washing and it's in the dryer. And then these are a few things that I need to hang dry. I just want to flatten that out, but she woke up. So just like a couple little sweaters and then this little sleeper. Isn't that cute? My mom sent that. It turned overcast today, so that's a little bit weird. So I think I'm gonna make a coffee so that I'm not drinking it too late. What do you say, coffee? I think this is the last day she can wear these pants. And I'm gonna buy her the next size up of diapers and I'm really sad. So she's in the newborn size one. And I'm gonna order the size two today and order the groceries. I need to figure out something for dinner. Anyway, pop you around. So, I have a shot already made. I think I'm just gonna make an iced latte, an iced latte, I'm just kidding. And a snack of some sorts. Maybe I'll just have a protein bar. Um, yeah, that actually sounds nice. So I'm either gonna have the Cliff peanut butter or I don't have another flavor. Ooh, there's the chocolate chip. I think I'm in the mood. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. Shoot. It's a big call. I wonder how much protein's in this. 11 grams, so that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna have the peanut butter one. And I'm in like a really big organizing mood at the moment. I just want to go through the house and redo everything because it just sounds like so much fun. But I don't know if I have the time. Okay, and I don't want to bite off more than I can chew. I'm gonna make this coffee before she loses her mind. So let me show you really quick wow, the difference lighting can make. Anyway, we pulled out some carrots and I picked a bunch of mandarins off the tree. And I wanna show you, I need to clean everything. So let me just show you that quickly. So this is all of the carrots and we got some like big, huge daddy ones. And then all the mandarins. Do you all say mandarins or mandarines? Mandarins. They smell so good. So how sweet is this? Jordan got me a push present. Story time. When I found out I was going to have a C-section and 
I mean, I've mentioned this before. Georgia was breech the entire pregnancy. I tried everything to get her to turn and she was happy where she was, stubborn and girl. One of the days where I was like coming to terms with the C-section, because I had done so much research into natural laboring. So like unmedicated labor, like calm birth, you know what I'm saying? I did so much research into this and I read so many books and purchased the calm birth course for Jordan and I, and I just did so much preparation for what I was hoping to be my best go at a natural unmedicated labor. So when I found out I was gonna have to have a C-section, I was pretty devastated. It took me a few days, I would say at least two really hard days to come to terms with it. Like I found myself crying a lot. I definitely never thought that I was just going to shelf a laboring experience, like not even experience labor at all, like contractions or anything like that. So I was really devastated. I felt really ripped off. I felt like a failure. I don't know if women, I, I think I think some women do feel all these things when they have a C-section. Okay, sorry, the baby woke up. Anyway, I wanna make this quick because I'm derailing. Basically, one of the days that I was kind of coming to terms with it, I burst into tears and I told Jordan that, it was kind of funny. I was like, I'm not going to get a push present because I'm not even going to get a chance to push. <laughs> and I was crying and he goes, what's a push present? And he was so confused. So I had to explain to him that when you have a baby, there's this thing. Not everybody does it. And it was more of like a ha ha. I wasn't expecting a push present. Anyway, I explained to him that when you push the baby out, you get a push present because it's a lot of work. And you know, your body goes through all these things. You just carried a baby, did all this, this amazing thing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm not gonna get it because I didn't push. And so this was him like remembering me crying about that because I'd come out of the shower every night crying about something new. Like she's not gonna have delayed cord clamping <laughs> and just random stuff. So he called me when he was at work today because he knew he was getting delivered. And he's like, go ahead and open it. And I'm like, oh, well, it's addressed to you. So I opened it and basically he said, I know you didn't get to push but thanks for pushing through. My push present, guys! How cute is my husband? I'm really excited. Right now I have the cart. This is my cart. And I'm planning out some meals and I have no idea what to do for dinner tonight. Little Miss still hasn't gone to sleep, so she hasn't had a nap since she woke up at 12 from her last one it is now 4 20 so what i decided to do was feed her again and make sure she doesn't expire over an hour i'm gonna try to put her down for a nap to keep her normal routine gordon is night flying tonight so he won't be home till probably eight or nine tomorrow is friday and every other friday is nail day so I'm gonna make an appointment to go and get my nails done and it's pedicure time. So I'm pretty excited because I just got my nails done. I got a little bit of alone time, about an hour to go and get my nails done. I got a pedicure and a manicure. It was the best pedicure I've had in a really long time. Very relaxing. I just watched YouTube videos and looked through my camera roll looking at Georgia, which <laughs> Okay, got a couple of things from the grocery store. Then I called Jordan and he said that she's been crying the whole time. And I was like, why didn't you call me? I would have come home. Like I'm a minute away from the house. And he didn't, and I do appreciate it. But at the same time, I just would have, you know, gone without the nails. Like I don't need my nails and I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm just looking pretty for Georgia. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> that was an absolute disaster. She shat everywhere. 
to the point where it was dripping off of my leg. I've had to have a complete change. So I am just in obviously black leggings and a pajama top. It's just really soft and I wanna wear it right now. Are you in another outfit? about this I am a Wolfie Kids ambassador a lifetime ambassador I'm really excited about that I also need to reorder this moisturizer for the baby I really really like this for her so I'm gonna post about that this week probably. And then this is her new car seat that we're trying to book in to get fitted. But one thing we do need to do is rinse out our poo clothes. Now I'm gonna use some heavier duty stuff. Most of the time for her clothes, I use a baby one, but to get out the poo in white, you need the heavier duty. So I'm gonna rinse the poo out and then I'm gonna soak them. I don't think there's any saving this white top. up the sink a little bit see how much <laughs> all right i'm gonna let that soak and then i have like a little um hand towel here to wash my hands and then that's laundry organization that i really want to redo because i just don't love it anymore that's all of like the laundry products and then that's all excess cleaning and then i have like my steamers back there iron clothes pins for the clothesline and then i have all of my laundry things so i have all the baby stuff which is the white bottles and then that's jordan's car rag soap <laughs> and our detergent so we're going to mount the dryer i believe above that but we're kind of deciding whether or not to redo the laundry room because we left it really basic when we built the house. This rug, by the way, is Kmart, isn't it? Super cute. Also, I have no groceries. I have nothing to eat. So, I'm gonna make this 